What up everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to get much better sleep and for those who don't already know, getting sleep is super important for both weight loss and muscle gain. And so if you want to keep fat off, if you don't want your body to store any more fat, if you want your hormones optimized, you want your hormones balanced, you want your muscles to recover, you want to look and you want to feel better, a lot of people are lacking good long sleep. And so this is how you get much better sleep. Let's jump right into it. Eight different ways. The first is going to be no coffee and no caffeine after 4 p.m. You might know someone that's able to get away with this, but if you're someone that struggles to get good sleep, you can't have caffeine and coffee during that time. It's going to mess with your body's functions. It's going to mess with your body's ability to try to rest later on in the night. The second is going to be putting all electronics away an hour before bed. So whatever time you plan on sleeping, put all electronics away an hour before that time. The blue light from those electronics make it harder for your body to try to rest. It will prevent the, basically long story short, it will prevent melatonin from being released in your body, which is a sleep hormone that helps you fall asleep and it helps you fall asleep deeper as well. And so no electronics, it will also you know keep your mind working, which isn't good for trying to fall asleep when you're checking people's statuses and everything. If you somehow must use a computer before sleeping, there are apps where at a certain time you can set it to where it turns off the blue light and it will help a little bit. The third thing you can do is sleep in a cave-like environment. That means cold temperatures, cool temperatures, you don't want to sleep in a super hot room and you want to sleep in the darkest room possible. Think super cave-like environment, okay? Like any light there is, what I do is I put a t-shirt over it, I tape over any light that might be blinking, internet lights, um, air conditioning lights, any sort of light is going to make your body harder to sleep and you might not think it's a big deal, but if you're struggling, struggling to sleep, give it a try. Cover all the lights you possibly can, darkest environment possible, and a cool cave-like environment. The fourth thing you can do is to backload your carbs. So what this means is however many carbs you're eating for the day, if you eat more of your carbs at night, it keeps your body fuller and it supports the release of melatonin, which is again the sleep hormone, helps you fall asleep, okay? And no, carbs are not going to make you fat if you eat them before bed. That's the biggest myth in the world. Just make sure you are tracking your calories and make sure your carbs that you are going to eat for the day are towards the end of the day if you want better sleep. The fifth thing is to go to bed the same time each night. Now I know this is hard because we all have different schedules. This is the one that's hardest for me to stay disciplined with. but it will definitely help. Your circadian rhythm, which is your body's natural rhythm, will know when to fall asleep if you teach it to fall asleep the same time each day. It doesn't have to be exactly exactly, but try to relatively fall asleep the same time each day. The sixth thing you can do is to plan out the next day. And so a lot of times we go to sleep and subconsciously we can't fall asleep because we're thinking of the next day. You might not be directly thinking about it, but it's in the back of your mind. And so to fix this, you need to plan out your next day. Plan out exactly when you're going to get your most difficult tasks done, get your most important tasks done, and what needs to get done. Oftentimes that's what stresses us unconsciously when we go to bed and we have a hard time falling asleep. And so plan out your next day. Don't overstress yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. Plan it, set a goal, and you will fall asleep much better. The seventh thing you can do is to read a book, okay? This is something that works really well for me, is reading a book, it's relaxing, it's calming, you're not staring at a screen, you're not worrying about what other people are posting or political debates on Facebook, you're simply reading a book. And I've heard from many people this doesn't work for them, and I challenge you guys to try this instead, is to read something deathly boring, like the newspaper, okay? I'm not a big fan of reading the news, and so if I need to fall asleep, I'll read something really, really boring. I guarantee you it will work if you read something deathly boring. And the last thing you can do to fall asleep better is 
to stay hydrated. So many people don't drink enough water throughout the day, and so they go to bed dehydrated, and they don't realize that their body can't function properly, can't fall asleep, can't rest and recover. Water will help with both muscle gain and fat loss goals, and it will help you fall asleep better because you are much more hydrated. And so that is all for this video today. I hope all of these will help you fall asleep better. I know if you are lacking in any of these, that any one of these will help you fall asleep longer, better, get your eight to nine and a half hours every night and you will build much more muscle and you will lose much more fat. And so that's all for this video. I will see you next time. Peace.